Hi, this is Rajendran here from Market Calls, and in today's uh, video tutorial, we'll be going to discuss about how to push data from your Nest Trading Terminal to Ami Broker. So there is a third-party utility called uh, Nest RTD. So you can uh, go to Google and type Nest RTD for Ami Broker. Nest RTD for Ami Broker. So it's a third, uh, fourth link down here. Sp Spaceman Ami Broker Feeder. Uh, the go to the github link so we can read a lot more about this software it's a c++ rtd client for uh, nest and now software so if you are using a nest or uh, now terminal you can uh, get the data from uh, nest terminal to your rami broker so whereas in this tutorial we are going to discuss about how to push data from nest trading terminal to your rami broker so here uh, you can download the binary file from the releases Go to the latest releases tab here, download the binary file, done, once the binary file is done, you can open it and copy these four files, go to your C drive, go to your C drive, create a folder called uh, ME folder, it, it could be any folder name, and in this case I'm just creating a folder name as ME feeder. So paste those files, done. So this has two uh, functionalities, one is an AB backfill and another one is a nest RTD. AB backfill will be more on uh, backfilling your AMI broker software and it's more, uh, more of a manual process and nest RTD will uh, push the data from your nest trading terminal to your AMI broker in real time. So it's more of an automated process. Let us discuss more detail about it. There is also a uh, nest RTD tutorial available there. It's a PDF file, you can open it, read it and configure it on your own. So um, if I go to AB backfill, it has an exe file here. This is the one going to do an automated backfill, but still some amount of manual process involved in it. And uh, there's a format file here. Copy the format file and uh, go to your ME broker folder and paste it there in the format folder. I'm just going to my C drive. Program files, ME broker, formats, paste the format file, the backfill.format down here. It's done. Likewise, uh, go to your uh, ME feeder, ME feeder here, the nest RTD folder. Similarly, it has an uh, RTD.format and an exe file nest rtd the nest rtd is the one the x file which is going to push the uh, your data in real time right now copy it and go to your ami broker folder it's on the c drive program files ME broker formats right click and paste it down here so now the both the formats are uh, saved there so now we have to set the setting files so I'll I'm just going to the AMI broker AMI feeder folder if you go down to the AB backfill it contains a set I settings files settings.ini so open the file so it tells AMI broker how to backfill I mean where your backfill path is there so here I'm just creating an folder CSV folder path csv colon backfill right so here your backfill is going to get stored and uh, what else so you need to create a folder called uh, backfill under the c folder i'll be doing this right now it's creating a folder new folder backfill done Make sure that it is case sensitive. Right. I'm just apart from that, nothing to do here. I'm just saving it down. That's it. Done. And the next thing is go to Ami Broker Feeder again. Go to Nest RTD. We have to do the settings file here. Open it. Open the settings file. So this tells where the CSV folder for your real-time data is going to be there. I'm just putting a C drive colon RTD. So once again, in this, under the C folder, we have to create an RTD folder down there. So I'm just going to do that. 
going to the C drive now. I'm in C drive now. Create a new folder under the name RTD. So in the C drive, we have created a two folders. One is backfill and RTD. The backfill will contain the backfill information, and RTD will always contain the real-time data information, which will be pushed to Ami Broker automatically. Right. So now, what I'm going to do now? Now I'm going to open my Ami Broker. My Ami Broker is down there here. Ami Broker, so it's here. Open that. So I'm just going to create a new database file, new database, and give a name like nest rtd. Okay, rtd. And I'll create it. So I'll put the number of bars as 10,000. Make sure it has a tick database. If it is not a tick database, make sure that um, and if you are using a non-licensed version, tick database is not allowed. So you can make this in uh, one minute. So in my case, it is a licensed version, so I am making it as a tick database. Done. Press OK. OK now. So what we are going to do? We are going to map the files. I am just once again going to my AMI broker folder. AMI broker. So here the database is created here, nest rtd, just go here and copy the path of the nest rtd, put it in a, just put it in a notepad, create a new notepad, copy it and keep it safe, right. So now also go to the settings.ini of your nest rtd. So the C drive RTD is done. Now we have to make sure that AMI Broker database is right. So we have to map our AMI Broker database with in the settings INA folder of Nest RTD folder. Right. So I'm just copying that. Copying this value here. Right click and copy. And paste it down here so make sure that all your uh, backward slash are changed by a front slash done so we are done now with the ab path so it is uncommented now and uh, just scroll a little down so it contains a number of scripts script one script two so if you don't want any of the scripts, you can simply uncomment it. If you want it, you can uh, uncomment, uncomment it and uh, you can uh, use it. So in my case, I'm going to use only the nifty feature here for the sample uh, uh, demo. So I'm just uncommenting the other scripts. The scripts. So in the scripts, the nifty 14 July, in it, uh, I'm just replacing it by uh, 14 September futures and uh, that is uh, your trading uh, terminal symbol your nest trading terminal symbol and uh, here I'm going to map with my AMI broker symbol so here the AMI broker symbol is nifty future f1 so which is the symbol which I'm going to create in AMI broker so I'm going to AMI broker going to symbol new creating that symbol which is there in the settings.ini file. So now I am having a the future symbol down here. As of now, no data is there coming in real time or in uh, backfill. So what I am trying to do now, so saving this. So now my database is mapped. My database is mapped here. Uh, there are other symbols. It given for uh, cash market here there's one simple example rule given here for cash symbol how to create it and uh, one symbol for NSCFNO and one for M6SX so you can refer multiple symbols and you can create your own uh, uh, bunch of database uh, at this point of time nest supports maximum of 100 scripts in a time but uh, since the backfill process is cumbersome and it's not effective it's recommended to keep less than five symbols at a time Right. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open my nest trading terminal. Closing this now. So, 
open my nest trading terminal so here nest trading terminal is now the nest trading terminal is uh, open now now uh, we have to push the data uh, from nest rtd to real time i'm just going to me feeder go to nest rtd right click and open nest rtd as run as administrator yes so now we'll be able to see the data running in uh, real time so so here the ticks are coming in live so you will see that okay so as long as uh, there is an update in your nest trading terminal uh, you'll be able to see simultaneously in ambi broker also so now this database doesn't has a backfill right so now to do the backfill we have to go to the nest trading terminal right click over the nest and then nifty script make sure that you logged in uh, into your nest plus prior to that go to plugin commands open a plus chart you can also do shift plus p uh, the short key to open the plus chart so now right click to the chart and uh, go to the data table copy the content control a and select all the data right click and oh, i'm sorry i'm can do a control a and then uh, control c copy the contents and then uh, go to your uh, me feeder backfill go to the data table so the name equal to nifty underscore f1 this is a user defined ami broker symbol and below to that you can uh, copy the contents which you uh, and paste the content which you copied from uh, your nest trading terminal so the backfill is ready now if you want to create any new uh, symbols say like you want to from um, uh, backfill one more symbol uh, you, at the end you can create one more uh, like this at the end you can create one more so like you want to put a bank nifty here you can put bank nifty and uh, you can save it and uh, here you can copy the bank nifty backfill from your nest trading symbol and you can do that in my case I mean, we are going to do only with only one symbol so what i'm going to do now and i'm just going to saving this file and save I'm closing this i'm just running the backfill i click open run as an administrator and press s yes so the backfill is done now so yes you are able to see the backfill here so nest contains about backfill for the last 22 days now we can uh, go to your uh, one minute or five minute charts and you can uh, do it on your own so that's it uh, the backfill is done I mean, uh, now you can uh, start your technical analysis as you wish and uh, thanks once again for uh, listening to us keep watching uh, the youtube uh, video subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, we'll be coming up with uh, more and more interesting uh, and uh, useful contents in the future thanks everyone